So you're going to create two sheets of tape that are the exact size of bag that you want. So in my case, I'm making uh, two sheets of tape that are 12 and a half inches uh, vertical by 12 inches horizontal. Okay, and you're gonna make these double-sided as well. And these two sheets of tape will be your front and back panels for your messenger bag. So once you create your front and back panels, you're going to work on creating the strap, okay? Now, um, you want to choose however long you want it, and then, for the strap part, and then add that to your, uh, length and width things, because you're going to create, make the strap a continuous loop, and this will help give it a lot more support, okay? And so now I'm just making the strap double-sided, and once you do that, you need to decide the width of the strap that you want, so, um, the width of the bottom and the sides as well. And I decided to make it three inches so it would fit in all my books. Once you're done with this, you want to connect the two ends and make it a big loop. So now you're going to cut strips for the woven panel, and uh, the length and the amount and the number of strips will vary on how big your bag is. For my bag, I used nine of the checkered print ones and they were 11 and a half inches long and then I used 10 of the silver uh, strips which I'll be making right now and they were 10 inches long. So now we begin the process of weaving the strips together and you're just going to take a strip of tape and you're going to place it at the top to hold all the strips down. And you want to make sure that they're even, so that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to weave the silver strips into it so they're going to be horizontal. So once you finish weaving, you are going to then outline all of the other sides of this big woven section with tape. And you want to make sure that's the, that it's the same size as the front and back panels that you made. So the same size as your bag. So now what you see me doing here is I'm adding rounded edges to all the sides because I just think it makes it look nicer. Now here I'm adding decoration, um, you obviously don't have to do this, but I just thought that the plain white was a little bit too boring for my taste. And then for your other panel, you're going to cut a strip of tape that is your width, or the going across, and you're going to put half of it on the top and then you're going to flip your sheet and fold it over. This is going to create a nice rounded edge for your front panel. So it will, also, it will help you uh, decide that this is your front panel. It will help you determine the difference, I guess. So 
here is where you'll begin to attach parts together. So cut a strip of tape that is your width and you're going to stick that halfway on the bottom and you're going to attach some part of your big loop of the strap to that. Okay, and so now you're going to begin attaching the woven part and your back panel together. Okay, and I'm just putting in cardstock to give it some sturdiness. And you want the, the space between your woven panel and the back panel the same as the width of your strap. Okay, so now what you see me doing is I'm going to add cardstock to the bottom of the bag and I'm just going to attach it to the strap which is connected to the back panel. So now cut two strips of tape that are your length measurement and attach them to the sides of the back panel and then you're going to attach your strap to the sides. So this is actually where you're going to be get the side parts of the bag and where it's going to start looking like a bag. So here's where I'm going to begin attaching the front panel to the actual bag. And so what I did was cut a strip of tape that was 12 inches long or my length or my width length and I attached that to the bottom. And so I just used that to attach it to the bottom of the bag or the strap part. Okay, and now I am attaching the sides, so again, just take a piece of tape that is your height, length, and um, stick it on, you just kind of fold it into a right angle, like that. So here's the messenger bag, thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you!